Thirteen ancient pre-Islamic towns have been discovered in Saudi Arabia up to the present day. These include Qaryat al Fau, the Al Uqdid archaeological area, Madain Salah, Juba, Tarat, Al Shuwaitiyah, Thaj, Taima, and Dumat al Jandal. There are still more ancient towns in Saudi Arabia, but little information is currently available on them. Saudi Arabia occupies a unique and distinctive geographic location, bridging civilizations between continents. In ancient times, the Arabian Peninsula served as a corridor for trade, therefore, it saw the beginning of many civilizations, the relics of which are still evident today. The Saudi government has recently established the Saudi Commission for Tourism and Antiquities, which is responsible for the preservation of these cities. Qaryat al Fau Qaryat al Fau, Arabic, Qaryat al Fa also appears in the southern text as Qaryat du Kal, Qaryat al Hamra, and Dhat al Janan. The name derives from its geographical location at a pass through the Tuwaik Mountains where it intersects with Wadi al Dawasir, overlooking the northwestern edge of the empty quarter desert. It is located about 700 km southwest of Riyadh, the capital city of Saudi Arabia. Qaryat al Fau is considered one of the most important ancient pre Islamic cities in Saudi Arabia, and it was the capital of the Kinda Kingdom from the 1st century BC to the 4th century AD, which was one of the ancient Arab kingdoms in the middle of the Arabian Peninsula. The Kinda originally came from Yemen after the demolition of the Marib Dam, which led to the fall of the Kingdom of Saba. In fact, after the demolition of the Marib Dam the Kingdom of Saba was divided into three tribal areas, one of the tribes being the Kinda, which was a part of the Sabaean Kingdom of Marib. The other two tribes were Mundarites, who built their kingdom in southern Iraq, and the Ghassan, whose kingdom was in what is now called Syria. The Kingdom of Kinda is thought by many historians to have been a Bedouin tribal kingdom, unlike other organized kingdoms founded in the Arabian Peninsula. This city was known as Dot Kal in the South Arabian text, although in the Golden Age it was called Qaryat al Hamra, the Red City, and Dot al Jinan, the City of Gardens, and today it is known as Qaryat al Fau. The city covers an area of approximately 3 km by 1. The ancient city was inhabited for about eight centuries, and during this period the city fought several wars with the Kingdom of Saba c. 8th century BC to AD 275, and in AD 228 IMRU, all keys fought the city. However, the city is not mentioned in any Arab history books apart from Abu Muhammad al-Hassan al-Hamdani's book entitled Sifat Jazirat al-Arab. The city had an important location, as it was located on a trade route, which had a great impact on the lives of the inhabitants due to their contacts with people from other nations. The archaeological excavations in the city revealed that the city had grown and evolved gradually from the point of the trade route to another important commercial point in the eastern part of the trade route that extends from the south of the Arabian peninsulas through Najran across the Persian Gulf and Mesopotamia. It became the economic, religious, cultural and social center of the Central Arabian Peninsula, as well as the capital of the Kinda Kingdom in their first period. Discovery Interest in Qaryat al Fau as an archaeological site dates back to the 1940s when a reference to it was made by some official workers of the Saudi Aramco Oil Company. In 1952, three of the company's staff visited the city and wrote about it. In 1996, the village was visited by an expert from the Antiquities and Museums Agency. In 1976, it was visited first the History and Antiquities Association of King Saud University in Riyadh and then by the Department of Antiquities and Museums, both aiming to study the site, and more specifically, to identify the location of the city. The work took place between 1972 and 1995. Archaeological excavations were carried out by a team from King Saud University team, from 1970 to 2003, and uncovered two major sectors of the town. The first was a residential area, consisting of houses, squares, streets and a market place, while the second was a sacred area, consisting of temples and tombs. The general architectural plan is very indicative of pre-Islamic towns in Arabia. Abdulrahman al Ansari, former professor of archaeology at King Saud University in Riyadh and a member of Saudi Arabia's Consultative Council and of the Council's Committee on Education, is considered as the founder of the rediscovery of the city of Qaryat al Fau. <laughs> <laughs> Market area 
Built near the western edge of the valley which separates between the Tuwake Mountains and the city limits east of the residential area was a large market, 30.75 metres in length from west to east, and 25.20 metres north to south. It was surrounded by a huge fence consisting of three contiguous parts, the middle one was made of limestone and the internal and external ones made of clay. The market consisted of three floors with seven towers in the market's corners and three in the structure in the middle of the north, south and east of the building. The only entrance to the market was located in the southern half of the west side and was a small door leading to a small square. Literature. <inaudible> <inaudible> The residents of the Karyat Alfau were concerned with writing, and a great deal of literature was found on the slopes of the mountains, in the market, temples, while paintings were found in the city's residential, and tombstones, pottery and other archaeological materials were also found in the city. The language used was a mix of the language of the north and south. They wrote on different topics, including on religious and commercial issues, as well as on subjects related to personal matters, and through their available literature it has been possible to identify some names of people, tribes, gods, as well as to identify the possible existence of the relations between Karyat Alfau and other kingdoms. A vast amount of inscriptions was found in Karyat Alfau. Temples Three temples and one altar were found in Karyat Alfau, two in the area to the west of the market, and one outside the market area. In addition, more than one type of cemetery was found in the town, as there were both public and family graveyards. <laughs> <laughs> Current condition As of January 1, 2014, the site is completely fenced for protection against looters by the Saudi government. The site is tended by a Saudi caretaker whose family has ties to the immediate area. The site was authorized and allocated funds for significant improvement, preservation and the construction of a modern visitor's center. Construction was to have been completed by December, 2013, however to date no construction has started. The site is extremely impressive, with multiple noblemen's and warrior class tombs spaced along the eastern periphery. The king's tomb resides somewhat separated and to the northwest of the city. The marketplace shows significant erosion of the walls, which have buried almost an entire story of the once three or four level artifice. Remnants of grain storage and baking ovens can still be seen today. Located east of the city lies a large jebel, with significant caves and petroglyphs. <laughs> Al Yukdid Archaeological Area Al-Yukdid Arabic, al formerly known as Rakhmat, Urkmat is located in the south of Saudi Arabia in Bir Hima, Najran region, about 1,300 km to the south of Riyadh. Exploration of the city was begun around 1997 by group of Saudi historians. Since then, many antiques have been found, and the greatest discovery in the town was of the place where the king of the kingdom of Himayar punished the Christian community in the town by throwing them into ditches of fire, which are called Yukdid in Arabic. According to the experts, the city was built between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AD. The story of these people is mentioned in the Quran, in the chapter Al-Buruj. <laughs> Madain Sala or Madain Sala Arabic Mdain Sal also called Al Hajar Al Hajar is an ancient city located in northern Saudi Arabia about 1400 kilometers to the north of Riyadh Madain Sala is considered to be one of the most important and oldest ancient cities in the country Madain Sala lies to the northwest of the city of Al Ula, in a strategic position on one of the most important ancient trade routes, which linked the south of the Arabian Peninsula to the north, as well as to the great economic and cultural centers of Mesopotamia, Syria, and Egypt. It was the second largest city in the kingdom of the Nabataeans. The Nabataeans were a group of Arab tribes whose economy was based on pastoralism, and over time they settled, created, and developed several cities and become traders. The Nabataeans occupied a territory in the south of the area of Sham where they founded the Nabataeans. Their capital was Petra in Jordan, which was chosen as one of the Seven Wonders of the World in 2007. Their language was S-form of Old Northern Arabic. 
The landscape of Madain Sala is characterized by impressive rock formations, sandstone hills of varied colors, from red to yellow and white. The area of Madain Sala covered by the site is about 1,621 hectares 4 acres. The tombs are distributed in groups of various importance, as follows Khazar al-Sani al is the first group of tombs and occupies two sandstone hills in the southern part of the site. The western hill contains only one large tomb, called Khazar al-Sani, while the second one contains six small undated funerary chambers. The tombs of the residential area, this group of monuments lies in the south of the residential area. It comprises two sandstone hills, one small and one large. The large one contains 18 tombs. Khazar al-Farid, Quesar al-Farid is located in the southwest of the site. It was given its name as it was completely isolated from the other tombs. Khazar al-Bint, Quesar al-Bint This group of tombs lies west of Jabal Ithib. It comprises two sandstone hills, one containing 29 tombs and the second, two tombs. Jabal Ithib, Jabal Athibi The name is a toponym referring to two mountain ranges which dominate the site from the northeast. Jabal al Maher, Jabal al Mjr. This group of tombs is located to the northwest of the complex of Khazar al Bint and occupies three elongated sandstone hills, one of which is called the Jabal al Maher. This area contains 14 tombs. Kaimat, al Kaimat. This group of tombs is located to the west of the Hiyas Railway. It contains 53 tombs. The residential area, Miao Kab Almcourt is located in the plain which lies in the middle of the site. Madain Sala was recognized by UNESCO as a site of patrimony, the first world heritage site in Saudi Arabia. The story of these people called the people of Thamud including Petra is mentioned several times in the Quran along with Prophet Sala. Topic: <laughs> Jubba Jabba Arabic, Japt is located in the Hayal province about 730 km north of Riyadh. The city was built around 7,000 years ago. Tarat Tarat Island Arabic, Tar is the second largest island in the Persian Gulf located off the city of Katif. The name is said to be derived from that of the goddess of love and war, a Phoenician and Canaanite goddess Asterit. Tarat is known for its historical landmarks, such as the Tarat Castle. Al-Shuwaitiya Al-Shuwaitiya is located in the north of Saudi Arabia about 1,300 km north of Riyadh in the Al-Jaf region. It is thought to be the oldest city in the history of the Asian continent. The renowned professor of archaeology, Abdulrahman al-Ansari, is of this opinion. Thaj Thaj is located in the northwest of the western region, about 600 km northwest of Riyadh. The majority of historians believe that the city of Thaj was built in the period of the Greeks, after the conquest of Alexander in 330 BC. The most important discoveries in the city were nine stones carved with writing dating back to the middle of the first millennium BC. <laughs> Dumat al-Jandal Dumat al-Jandal Arabic, Dwemt al-Jandal 10th century BCE, is the name for an ancient city of ruins located in northwestern Saudi Arabia in the Al-Jaf province. The name Dumat al-Jandal means literally. Duma of the Stone, since this was the territory of Duma, one of the twelve sons of Ishmael. The city's ancient Akkadian name was Adamatu. Topic see also Cities of the ancient Near East al Ula, Dedan, Kingdom of Lian, tilde 5th century BCE, Kinda, Yemeni tribe, 2nd century BCE, Medina, Yathrib, 6th century BCE, Tema, Tima, 8th century BCE. Topic references Topic External links Laritage du Lantane 1 ESP dating of tooth from pre Islamic Sitan Saudi Arabia 2 Saudi Commission for Tourism and Antiquities 3